In today's video, we are going to explore the Superstition Mountain Museum, including the Elvis Chapel and the picturesque Goldfield Ghost Town. Coming up next. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. This video is sponsored by Custom Covers. Well, greetings from the Mesa Apache Junction KOA. Not too bad as far as KOAs go, although a little pricey at about $47 per night. And the staff, uh, well, this is what happened. They closed the laundry on me five minutes before 9 p.m. with my clothes in the dryer. <laughs> I was not a happy camper, and I called her 24-hour line, and the same grumpy lady who took me to my site last night begrudgedly opened the door so I could take my clothes. Anyway, on to nicer things. I am going to drive a little to the east here towards Superstition Mountain. There are a couple of attractions in the area. This here is Superstition Mountain or Lost Dutchman Museum and as soon as you step out of the car it almost feels like you've stepped into a western movie. I mean, take out the picnic tables and the golf cart, uh, you see what I mean? Let's go in. Here's uh, the gift shop. And uh, the museum, it is five dollars to see it, uh, but I'd rather explore the outside first. Very cool to see all these species of cacti. There's the chapel. Actually, before going into the chapel, let me check out this stagecoach uh, right here. Uh, I guess this was the main mode of transportation in these parts during the Wild West days. Hmm, it has stairs. Maybe I should step inside. Well, this is not very big in here. Just big enough for four people, maybe, and not very comfortable. It's pretty cool. Now let's see the Elvis Chapel, which was moved here piece by piece from the Apache Land Movie Ranch. It was built actually for the Elvis Presley Western Charo. Fun fact, it was the only Elvis movie in which he did not sing on screen. He only did it during the opening credits. Inside, it almost feels like a shrine to the king. There is this sculpture, guitar in hand, at the main altar. They have a bunch of movie posters and memorabilia and photos of Elvis movies and other movies as well. Apparently, a bunch of Western movies were filmed here in this area, including uh, the Charo movie by Elvis Presley. Okay, let's see what else they have here. Some of these uh, sets, like the church and the barn, were moved here from the Apache Land movie set in nearby Gold Canyon after the fire of 2004, which almost destroyed the whole set. And there's the telegraph machine. These are interesting rules. You may pause the video if you want okay, to see them. Mesa 21, Tortilla Flat 11, Goldfield 1, Globally 1, this are like where you bought the tickets for the stagecoach. There's the barber and dentist and everything. All in one. The saguaro cacti and this mountain certainly epitomize the image of the Wild West we have through the movies. There's the barn brought from Apache Land. Guard. And the outhouse, of course. All this old equipment here. And they have a, a blacksmith shop. Flock to the 
railroads to carry them to the American Southwest. And that's a pretty cool train set, but I believe there's a much larger one towards the back. Let's go out, check the rest of the trains. Yep, I think I am definitely into model trains, and this one is one of the better ones I've seen. It basically depicts the role that the railroad played in the development of Arizona, particularly for commerce. section of this set depicts a different scenario from Native American settlements to frontier towns. Well, this is supposed to be a cattle ranch. Such exquisite detail. different types of mines, like silver mines and gold mines. Well, that was the Superstition Mountain Museum, definitely a pretty neat place to visit. Well, here we are, the Goldfield Ghost Town. Goldfield established in 1893. Yep, the original Goldfield was established as a gold mining town, although I've learned this is all a recreation. Check out the train station first. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the train ride first and, and then we'll explore the town. Looks really nice. There's uh, this narrow gauge railroad that goes around the town. It is a 20 minute ride for 9 bucks, so let's go inside and get the train ticket here at the gift shop, which is pretty nice, you know, they have the usual trinkets and knickknacks. That is one noisy locomotive. Alright, all aboard! <laughs> Well, if anything, we'll get an overview, a lay of the land, if you will. The audio system is really bad, barely intelligible, so I will narrate a little bit here. I think what I gathered is that this saguaro cactus here is 75 years old, which is pretty young actually. Okay, a little bit of history. The original gold field only lasted five years before it started to die down when the gold vein played out. After that, it survived on and off until around 1926. By the way, that's of course Superstition Mountain, which the Apache considered haunted and sacred at the same time. Check out all the cacti, well, we'll see many more of those. Is everybody enjoying our winter? Small peak sticking up there coming to a point. I think that's the rock formation that they call the witch's hat. 
It is an amazing looking mountain, isn't it? Very iconic. This is the entrance to a mine, originally with a steam-powered winch. And here we have some rusting, abandoned mining equipment. We continue moving, yeah, very slowly. Well, as I was saying, the town pretty much died in 1926. Then, in 1966, uh, this guy Bob's Shoes uh, came to Superstition Mountain and fell in love with the area. You know, he wanted to own his own ghost town, and when he found Goldfield, well, there wasn't much there left. So he and his wife, they bought this land here in 1984, where the Goldfield Mill was, and they rebuilt the town, little by little. I don't know if this actually looks anything like the original Goldfield, and my guess is probably not, but it sure looks cool. Ooh, and there's an RV park. It was about 45 cents a minute, and I don't know if it was worth it for the, for the information or the entertainment value of it, but it was a nice overview to just go around the whole town and get a little bit of the history. Before we continue, let me tell you about our sponsor Custom Covers for your RV. Made out of steel, available in many different colors and in 29 states. Protect your RV from the elements by calling Lisa at 501-455-4442. And if you mention me, Traveling Robert, you get a 5% discount. Now, let's continue. The town is, of course, mostly shops. And now that I know that it is reconstructed, I get more of a tourist trap feel. But still, the setting is so picturesque. It almost makes it feel, in my mind, more authentic, if that makes sense. They'll get you out there on the gizmo claim. The town certainly fits the image about the Wild West that Hollywood has planted in our collective consciousness. They have, of course, one of these places where they will take old-time photos of you in costume. Sage. Maybe I'll go to the saloon. Okay, there we go. Ghost town information. Well, this is falling, so this is this must be authentic. Yeah, it's a museum, and it didn't look all that inviting. You know what looks inviting right now? It's the saloon. Oh, the gunfights are only Saturday and Sunday. Well, maybe I'll come back. This is a Goldfield Jail. It's inside. You know what? One thing for certain, it looks a lot more authentic than Tombstone, for sure. Yep, but looks can be deceiving. Let's get a drink. Are you one of us? Are you kidding me? I was the original one of us. Good. What's the difference between Obama and Osama? Yes. I like Obama. No, it's uh, just the way it was. Jeffrey, I used to like you. That's it. And that's why. Me too. This is not the first time. I called here too, and I said, no, couldn't find no, it. You didn't ask for Cowboy Day. Yeah, okay, yeah, like, yeah, I called and canceled it. Huh? I got you these. Right. Like a diamond. 
That stagecoach in the back might be one of the few authentic things here. It was brought from Tombstone and restored. Very cool bar, regardless. Nice, they have an outside patio with a view of the mountain. And live music. From the ladies and fever For the world yes, A sad country song And my noble your Bessies are gone Very cool place here How did that really explode the rest of the time? But definitely very cool place and that bartender, that guy's a trip. I later found out that that bartender was Bob Shoes himself, the founder, owner and mayor of Goldfield. And there's the bordello, that we'll visit later. There's the church on the mount. Let's go inside. Okay, let's check this out. Yes, Cowboy Commandments. Pause the video for a laugh, actually. Well, this is it. The church. The chandeliers are made from old wagon wheels. And they do have service on Sundays at 11 a.m. There goes our train. And here's the Eagle Eye Shooting Gallery. Here's one of the many shops, this one selling wind chimes. And um, here's another one on the ground floor, below the bordello. Let's go up the spiral staircase and check out that bordello that I was telling you about. Very nice view from the top. And I just love the landscape in this part of Arizona with all the saguaro cacti. And I just love this little town even if it is fake or recreated. Okay, let's go in. I get pretty much a private tour from this very knowledgeable former employee. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so it started about a quarter mile up the road up there. There was a, a town of about a thousand people up there. Okay, this part of the town is where your miners worked, where your miners lived. They lived in tents all surrounding here. We had three saloons, we had one brothel, we had um, three cribs, and then we had various other things. So it was about 25 structures here. There was one decent woman to every 50 men. And what they didn't spend on their tent and their food, they would come and join our hurdy-gurdy girls here. Now, if a gentleman wanted something a little bit different and a little bit, he had money, he would talk to the bartender and he'd be introduced to one of these girls up here. These okay. are brothel girls. Okay, now, the brothel girls, as you can see, were a lot cleaner, but one thing about the brothel girls, they were literate, they could read and write. And please join the room in there, take your camera in there. That's okay. supposed to be the highly, um, uh, kind of a haunted room, if you want to say. Okay. Um, you can see the size of Rosita there, sir. Most of the women were about 5'5 five, five and weighed over 200 pounds. Uh, the madam liked mm -hmm. the women big, because uh, if they were big, they probably were not diseased. Okay, this is our madame's room. This would be her beautiful room right here. She did mm -hmm. allow the miners to come in and have a bath there, but uh, oh, this is cool. you know they, that's pretty much all they could afford in here. Mm -hmm. Wonder how many bodies they're going to pull out of that thing today. Every time they get out that thing out there, they're pulling bodies out of it. Oh yeah. There's a graveyard down there. So the whole place is a graveyard. Oh, really? Every time they dig something, they can find bodies. So the women would would use copper or another type of a coin for contraception. Another jar would be put in their room, and when the jar was full, all the madam would get all the jars together, and uh, she would escort, she would get in her carriage and take it up to the town up there, and that's what we call dirty money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me tell you about a shot glass. All right. This one, this wouldn't happen up here, but it would happen in one of your saloons across the street up there. Gentleman, miner would walk in, I don't have any money. I spent it all with the girls. Okay, what do you got? My bullets. So the bartender would line it up there and he'd probably get his 
cheapest whiskey that he had down there, or watered down whiskey. He'd line it up to here and line it up to here. Give him two cents for this bullet, five cents for this bullet. And if he wasn't in need of this for his 45, he'd sell this for about 10 to 12 cents. So that's for a shot for a bullet. That's where shot glass comes from. Ooh. From the Western days, that is. Oh, wow, I did. Right. Yeah. So anyway, any questions? No, no. This Please look around. We got some stuff from Tombstone. These are original badges from Tombstone. So oh, really? Your camera would like that. This, of course, is the abbreviated version of the tour. If you want to see the whole thing, the whole 10 minutes, I'll put a link to that video. Uncut. Somewhere. Well, that was really cool. That was a cool tour here of the, of the old brothel. But well, let's continue exploring. There's the outhouse, and this is where they do the mine tours and let you do gold panning and all that. It is so very picturesque, but we must go on. Well, this was a lot of fun here visiting the, the goldfield uh, ghost town. Uh, check out that mountain, check out this, it's, it's gorgeous. This here is the state park. Maybe I'll stay here next time. As the day slowly comes to an end. There's our favorite mountain once again. Well, let's drive around the neighborhood. We've got some pretty nice houses here as we approach Superstition Mountain. I wanted to eat here at the Dutchman's hideout, but it is closed. Check that out. That view in your backyard. Woo. Well, enough snooping around this fancy neighborhood. Let's return to our campground in Apache Junction. And uh, at some point we'll make it to Phoenix, right? Decided to go to Phoenix. On the next video, we'll visit Phoenix proper and its legendary first Friday. Also, a deserted downtown on a Saturday, Wesley Bowling Memorial Plaza in front of the Arizona State Capitol and Ritzy Scottsdale, among other things. If you have enjoyed traveling with us, make sure you are subscribed and check out my other videos. 
Also, share it with your friends, spread the word and leave me a comment. Now, if you really, really liked it, you have a chance to show your support at patreon.com slash travelingrobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road.